WF's next live wrestling experience is called Head on Collision. It's the 20th of September, Colonial Theater. In the booth to my right is Alex Morrow. Hello, inbred idiots. Alex Morrow, why should they come to Head on Collision at the Colonial Theater on the 20th? Uh, three names, Mike Omega, Lockjaw, and Blackheart. Oh, really? They are the cream of the crop, not just in TWF, but in the region. Oh, really? Okay, well, it's 3522 Stockton Boulevard in Sacramento. The very biased opinion of Alex Morrow has been spoken. All right, I'm doing it. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Sacktown! Are you down for the hottest show in town? <laughs> WF Wrestling is proud to present... Wait a second. All right, Alex Morrow, I've got a question. I thought your team was supposed to be out right now. Why are they here? Well, Famous Inc., you know, they think they run the show here. They come out when they feel like it, and frankly, there's nothing I or the commissioner can do about it. They're young, they're famous, and they'll let you know it every second. Why are they here? Why does Crystal have a microphone? Questions abound here at Brain Damage, here at the Colonial Theater. I think she has something to say to these inbred fuckers. What the fuck is up with this? Fix it! Whatever, I guess I'll have to make do with this kind of shit. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. We all know that Famous Inc. is what's the best. I mean, you watch, you watch last, last show, right? You, you have to, come on, come on.
You know what? I'm not even going to play games anymore. Hey, you nappy headed bitch. I know you're back there. Oh, yeah. I know you're back there. Come on. You want to try it again? One more time? I have no idea, Alex Morrow, who this young lady is, but she is answering the impromptu challenge from Crystal right now, right here, to start brain damage. We could have ourselves a cat fight. I believe her name is Witless or something like that. You're not very nice, Alex Morrow. I know that she is stepping into a hornet's nest by stepping out there with Famous Inc., but she doesn't look afraid one bit. Guts and brains. Nice rack, though. I think that is the last thing on her mind right now. Last thing on her mind, first thing on mine. Oh, wait a second, wait, wait a second. CJ Profits got her by her damn ponytail, and here comes the A-team for the save. Famous Inc. was about to destroy this young lady, but in comes the A-team. Who knows what would have happened if they would have showed up. It would have been curtains for her. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? You gonna put your hands on a woman? Hey, y'all don't even know who you're messing with. Do you know who you're messing with right here? This is our cousin Whitley. That's right. This is our cousin Whitley. She's down with us. It's 18 all day up in here. Yeah, whatever. Well, it looks like the A team have a cousin. Her name is Whitley. Oh boy. But out come the mercenaries. Well, Alex Morrow once again bringing these outsiders into TWF, trying to make TWF implode by bringing these, yeah, by bringing these rude, crude guys from some other part of the state. The A-team will definitely have something to say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making their TWF debut, give it up for Mike Omega and Chris Cardenas! Yeah! And introducing our opponents, he is Rob Banks, he and Jack Moves, together they are the A!
Well, who the hell are Chris Cardenas and Mike Omega? I have no clue, but what I do know is that if Alex Morrow handpicked them to try to take out the A-team, they've got to have some skills. And they got to bring it here tonight against one of the most exciting young tag teams and all of TWF, the A-team, collar and elbow now. Nice headlock takeover by Mike Omega. Jack moves with the head scissors, controls him. Jack moves has got some size on him. Mike Omega, though. Jack moves on top. This should be very interesting. And Jack Moves shows the world he's more powerful, and Mike Omega doesn't like it one bit. You tell him, Tara, he's not pulling the hair. Well, the A-team have had a long-running feud, a long-running disagreement with Alex Morrow, who's hell-bent on destroying these young guys. Oh, speaking of destroy, big clothesline. There's the A participation from the crowd. Jack Moves, who was the 2007 TWF Rookie of the Year. Mike Omega makes a tag to Chris Cardenas, his first action in TWF. And Rob Banks, the legal man on his side. Well, this, my friends, is brain damage. Thank you so much for joining us. This, my friends, is a night of nights. You picked a good one to watch. Oh. We'll talk about pulling the hair. Rob Banks tries to shove him off. Oh, welcome to TWF, kid. Rob Banks just runs him over, flattens him with the clothesline, nicely done by the former high school standout in the long jump, the triple jump, anything with the word jump, Rob Banks excels at. And always, always, always keep an eye on those guys at ringside, yeah. It's Alex Morrow's mercenaries out there. Blackheart, Lockjaw, definitely looking for trouble. Oh, and Rob Banks telegraphed whatever that was going to be and ended up eating a size 12 right in the face. Chris Cardenas with the slingshot sent on. Very close, but not a three. Oh, I could watch that all night. Unfortunately, I can't. We gotta get back to the live action. Dick Pearsall not in the booth with me, helping Ecstasy prepare for his world title uh, opportunity at Vortex later on at this show. Only a two count. Meanwhile, Alex Morrow, who was in the booth for the first few minutes of this show, is out there with his men. Chris Cardin is squeezing, squeezing on the arm of Rob Banks. This is actually the complete opposite of what I thought this team would do. It's ground and pound for Alex Morrow's team. Maybe that's their best shot. Nice reversal, but unable to keep the shoulders down is Rob Banks. But definitely feeling the effects of that. Michael Omega tagged in once again, drops an elbow on the back of the head. You gotta think, Alex Morrow's plan is not just the A team. Alex Morrow's plan is to decimate some staples of TWF one at a time, and his first target with these outsiders is the A-team. Oh, second knee to the gut. And Mike Omega showing the world what he's made of after the Russian leg sweep only gets a two count. Don't blame it on Tara that you can't put him away. Leg drop across the throat, and Mike Omega Definitely showing everyone in TWF and everyone watching that he's for real. I mean, I said it earlier, but Alex Morrow is gonna pick guys he think can excel in TWF from these other feds, from these other companies all over the state. DDT's him onto his head, and Rob Banks is in serious trouble, people. There's no fancy way to put it. Rob Banks is being handled by Alex Morrow's team. Maybe he spotted a weakness that we didn't know about. I don't know. But Rob Banks being decimated here and now. Tara not liking this double team too much. Down he goes with the double suplex. And Mike Omega and Chris Cardenas are, look at this. Almost a version of a short arm scissors there. Rob Banks is stuck. Like a cow stuck in barbed wire. He's got absolutely nowhere to go. Lockjaw trying to cheat on the outside. What else is new for Sasquatch Man? I'm sorry, I should be objective. 
Shoulder was down for a second. But when you do the things that Alex Morrow and his cronies do, sometimes you deserve to get a little bit of ass, you know, a little bit of shit talking. I'm sorry for my language. But that's how much I hate these guys. Look at this. He's going for the rope, and Alex Morrow and Mike Omega pulling it away. This is not five on two. This is a two on two tag team match, but Alex Morrow doing everything he can to win. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Two, and no. Rob Banks from the arm bar position picked him up, used all that power, and dipped him on his head, and now almost, almost made that all-important tag, but was unable to get it, only inches away, and once again, Alex Morrow's team of Mike Omega and Chris Cardenas are keeping the fresh man in. Tornado DDT dips him on his skull, and Rob Banks is in serious jeopardy of losing this thing very soon. Well, definitely a mean streak shown here by Mike Omega, planting right hands into the cranium of Rob Banks. Now he's thinking top rope. Oh, and plants an elbow into the heart, and Jack moves, tries to hop in for the save. Much to the credit of Rob Banks, though, he did kick out. And look at that power. Not too many men in this business could do that. But then Omega responds with the Tornado DDT, the top rope elbow, neutralizing whatever comeback that Rob Banks had in mind. Oh, talk about the move that he needed at that exact moment. Rob Banks, reversal on the suplex, buys himself some recovery time, buys himself some time to get some air in those lungs, and look at Chris Cardenas, he just slapped Jack Moves. Oh, and Jack Moves has had enough, but he's not the legal man. Tara's got no choice but to put him back over there. Meanwhile, the double team, the triple team, the quadruple team on the, on the far side of the ring there. Knee right to the jaw. Oh, and one more move to neutralize the jaw of Rob Banks. He's on the ropes. What a feather in the cap it would be for these guys. And I'm talking about Chris Cardenas and Mike Omega to beat the A-team here tonight.